on this week's Knockout Hunting Adventures from the beautiful country of Argentina. Stay with us as we take in some of the sights and sounds that the city of Buenos Aires has to offer. Then we take a four-hour drive through the countryside to a small mountain range where the wildlife is abundant. Watch us as we pursue what turns out to be the very elusive red stain. Hey y'all, stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Knockout Hunting Adventures with your host and four-time U.S. Amateur Heavyweight Champion and former number one ranked amateur heavyweight of the world, Jerry Scott. This is Knockout Hunting Adventures, hosted by the man who battled Mike Tyson, Keith Andrew Holyfield, and Lennox Lewis, Jerry Gump. Join host Jerry Gump as he introduces children, women, and handicapped hunters to the sport of archery. Join Jerry as he travels the world on his exciting adventures and get ready for knockout hunting adventures. Wow. We got fine animals. I've been to Argentina on several different occasions and was always picked up at the airport and whisked away from my duck or goose hunting location. Three. But on this trip, I had a chance to spend just a little time in the city of Buenos Aires before I left for my hunt. Argentina is the eighth largest country and inhabits over 39 million people. With a population of 3 million in its city limits and an additional 7 million in its surrounding area, it makes Buenos Aires by far the largest city in Argentina. This close proximity to the ocean makes it the most important. Buildings that were constructed in the mid to late 1800s are scattered all throughout the city, demonstrating a very strong European influence. From around 1857 to 1939, the Italians, French, Swiss, Germans, and other European groups arrived here to escape the war. The modern-day Buenos Aires will rival any city. It is very clean and seems to have a very low crime rate. And the shopping district would please and exhaust any hardcore shopper. If you're a food connoisseur, you will find fine dining on just about every corner. This city was really quite wonderful. But for me, I prefer more wide open spaces, and Argentina has lots of that too. Cattle is big business here, as well as farming. Corn, soybeans, and other crops that are grown in the U.S. are growing here as well. Come to think of it, it reminds me a lot of the U.S. My name is Claudio. Hi, Sherry. I hope you spend a very, a very nice day hunting there and eating and drinking. Have a good day. Claudio was a representative for Rancho Salvaje. They picked me up in Buenos Aires and drove me four hours to San Pedro Ranch, or Estancia, as it is referred to in Spanish. The Estancia is located in a small mountainous area consuming 15,000 acres of big rolling hills and deep ravines. You won't find very many trees here, but what you will find is tall grass and lots of rocks, making this tough to spot and stalk with a bow, which we will be attempting on today's show. 
We started on a hunt with my third day. The first two we saw several herds of red deer with big tags in each of the groups. These deer were two to three hundred yards away and with very little cover, we were unable to get within bow range. On the third day, we were set up in a big marshy bottom where the deer traveled through to water and feed on tender grass. These deer never saw us, but were feeding along the hillside on grass, never coming closer than a hundred yards. With no cover between us, there was nothing we could do. And trying to move toward the deer would certainly mean getting busted and run the risk of driving them out of the area. So we let them walk. On the fourth day, we spied these two big mature stags walking together up the hill at about a half a mile away. Because it was so wide open and for the fear of being spotted, we were unable to move until they topped the ridge. So we waited. And waited. And waited. We sat and watched these deer for well over an hour, grazing along as they worked their way up the hillside. They closed down. They got to be at least a half mile away. They just topped the hill. We got a long way to go. We're going to head around up here and see if we can intercept them up there on the top. We'll go around the side and see if we can catch them coming back down on the other side. Let's see what happens. It's a long hike. They're leaving me. I better catch up. We saw lots of llamas on this trip. Llamas inhabit the Andes, which borders Argentina and Chile. These llamas were brought into this small mountain range and turned loose many years ago and has thrived in this area ever since. They've come a long way. We've walked like an hour to get up to the top of this mountain. The deer are just on the other side of this edge. And the big bottom, the big ravine. We can see up there just to see how close they are to them. Just find out what our plans are going to be. These guys know this area very well. After an hour and a half, the two-hour walk, we finally caught sight of only one of the two bucks traveling on the other side of this big ravine. Again, too far away. That's a nice buck right there. After the break, it's another day of hunting here in Argentina. The morning of the fifth day, I was feeling very anxious. We had seen lots of deer, but nothing had been near close enough for a shot with my bow. And we only had one day left. Well, we've been walking for almost an hour now, coming from the valley. We've come a long way. We haven't seen any, any red stags or, or red deer yet. What we're going to do is we're going to try to right up here. He's on this other side. And maybe we can catch him down the other side like these ravines. Flying up and we'll ease our way down there and see if we can on top of it. It's a long way to a lot further to go I'm sure. It's pretty warm. It's probably 65, 70 but that sun is well, it's pretty. It's on. It's pretty hard right now. So, a lot of work, but it's gonna be worth it. I hope. We 
We did spot this big group of deer with a good buck in it. But, unfortunately, they spotted us first. They topped the ridge, and that was the last we saw of them. When we returned to the ranch for lunch, I was treated to an authentic Argentinian meal. Folks are being treated to a traditional Argentinian uh, meal tonight. Uh, it's, uh, what is it, a sheep? Yes, it's a small sheep. A small sheep. A small sheep is cooked right over uh, wood and ashes. So, and what, what do they call it? This ranch even had its own trophy room, where they kept the sheds they collected each year from their 15,000 acres. All right, right here, the fifth day, the last day, we drove the truck to the top of a big knoll, and as before, began walking the ridges and glassing the ravines, looking for a bedded buck. Three big male stags that are just over the ridge. We'll wait and see if they're going to take this way and come across this little area right here. So then we may get a shot. If not, we may get to the point where we can't get close to because we've been on them all week. We may just have to take one of the guns. I really don't want to, but it's getting down to the end, so we may just have to. As soon as these three bugs hit the open, they began a slow run. I'm not much of a shot with a rifle, so I was hoping they would stop just long enough to get a shot off. And they did. Great. He's there. He's there. All right. Look, five days working these working these red tags, we saw a lot of good bucks, but we never could get close enough to them. Never could. We get, one time we got like 75 yards from them, but we couldn't get a shot with the bow. We worked hard. Last day, we decided to go ahead and, and do it with the gun. We're here in Argentina, so we just, we did it, and I got myself a wonderful trophy. Big, big red tag. It's just been an awesome experience. Tremendous experience. I'm very happy. Very happy. 
We got us a trophy for sure. That was what, 250 yards, 300 yard shot? It was a long shot. Let's go. Let's go get him. Come on, fellas. Alright. Then yeah. Then yeah. Nando. There's a gun. Beautiful, beautiful deer, huh? Look at that. That is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look. Wow. 300 yards, huh? 300 yard shot. Incredible. Beautiful. This is great. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, folks, we've been down here in Argentina for the last five days. And I'll tell you, to be honest with you, we've seen so many, so many deer, nice deer, this size and larger. But we were heifering with a bow. And I'll tell you, this is about the hardest place there is to, to hunt for a red stag with a bow. There's very little cover to get behind. The wind is blowing from different directions, and they're just incredibly spooky deer. I mean, they're just just like a white tail or an elk or anything else. Actually, they're even even tougher to hunt than an elk. Thirteen points. Thirteen points. This is that's amazing. I tell you, if you uh, if you want to get in on some Argentina action, you need to call Danielle or Roger Goldberg. Contact them with Ranch Out Southern Hay. And I tell you, they will get you hooked up on a hunt of a lifetime. This is incredible. Danielle, thank you again. Man, incredible. Thank you for joining Hickory Creek Archery's Knockout Hunting Adventures with Jerry Goff. And make sure to join us next week for more exciting action. Until then, happy hunting.